What's going on everybody, Jay Hayes here. So today I'm be doing a review on a device that I was sent for complimentary because of my bad experiences with another box. This is kind of a follow up, but it's not. It's also touch and base on a newer product. Those of you that saw my iJoy RDTA mini box, you saw that it auto fires. So this is the original RDTA that I had. Absolutely loved the look of it. Everything was great until I found out that it was defective. The way that it was defective was the way that when you fired this, it stuck and stayed on. So I'll show you, when you press that button, it continues to fire. Obviously I have it on low watts because I don't, it doesn't need to be high watts to show that. And it doesn't have a second cutoff. It just keeps on going. I think it's like 24 seconds or something. So it was extremely glitched out. I was a little pissed off. Obviously iJoy saw the video. They didn't like the video. They didn't send any hate emails. I'll give it to them that. They actually were true good customer service. They truly did try to unfuck the situation and make it better. And they did that. Let me explain why they did that. Now, this is obviously, it's not going to affect my review at all of the new product, but they sent me another one. It took them, again, I'm showing you the box upside down. So flip your laptop upside down. No, then I'll be upside down. They sent me this device to replace it. And guess what? The button does not get stuck. It does have a 10 second cutoff. For those of you that have a defective device, I suggest that you contact iJoy and they should take care of you. They might have just taken care of me in hopes of me taking my other video down, which is not gonna happen, but they still did it. And they offered to send me this as an I'm sorry. I have been waiting for this device for a long time. I pre-ordered it and a lot of people have done reviews on this so I'm kind of in the back but then again I'm always in the back doing the reviews like six months later. One thing I really want to touch base on which a lot of people are making a big deal about is the battery. The 20 two zero seven zero zero so 2700 sounds like I'm saying 27 hundred like 2700 but I'm saying 20,700 let me just tell you something there's no difference between this battery and an 18650 3000 mAh is 3000 mAh whether you get that from a Samsung 18650 or a Sanyo A I think it is the Sanyo A is the 16 amp at 4000 mAh that's from Mooch if he's writing at 16 amps at 4000 mAh it's a win, it's a great battery. So it's a good upgrade if you're gonna be doing low power. Now, if you need something that uses 30 amps, then you would get the Sanyo B. However, that's only 3100 mAh. There's not much of a difference between this and an 18650. I know a lot of people think that because the battery is bigger, it's gonna be a better battery, and that's that's not necessarily the case at all. You do get about 25% more battery life than a VTC6 on the 3100, but on the LG HE2, again, that's only a 16 amp. So you are gonna get more amps for the amount of MAH, but the amount of MAH, the longevity of the battery is almost identical, except for the 4000 MAH. iJoy Captain PD270, this box is heavy like everything inside of this. Dual battery configuration, dual 2700 battery configuration, or 18650 if you're so inclined not to go buy the batteries. However, when this ships, this actually ships with batteries in it. They did the same thing with the Lux, which I actually had a good experience with. I had no problems with the Lux at all. And the fact that it came with two 26650s, brand new, still sealed, that's a win. So let me bring this down. We're gonna open it up, go through the menu, bring it back on top. I'm gonna let you know my final thoughts on the iJoy Captain PD2 the iJoy Captain PD270, which means the 2700 batteries that it utilizes inside. It's a dual battery box mod. This is not a kit, it is just the mod. I'm not sure if they are going to come out with a kit and what they're going to include in the kit if they do, but more or less people are worried about this mod because it uses a different style battery, which is going to be a little bit harder to find these batteries just because not a lot of people make these batteries for vaping. You could get them for flashlights, but you should not be using a flashlight battery with this mod. You should be either using the Sanyos, the ones that come with it. And that's about it that I could think of off the top of my head. I'm not sure if Samsung and LG are planning on making this size battery. 234 watts, two 2700s. It's a 0.96 inch LED screen. I wish it was OLED, but it's it's not. There's your authenticity checker and your warning that is on all boxes. It's actually not that big. Very, wow. 
That is super clicky. Super clicky. Wow, that's actually really small. I thought that was going to be a lot bigger than what it is. Inside this box, you have a plethora of accessories or vaping peripherals because that's something that seems legit. 2700 Now, these batteries will work in 95% of other chargers. If you have a D4 or an I4, D2, if they're able to use a 26650, they're able to use this. And I'm going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison of an 18650, 26650, and then this battery so you can see the differences. Then you have this little thing. Now, I know when you look at this, you think it's automatically just something to hold your batteries. It's not. Actually, for you to put two 18650s in, and it's not just silicone sleeves, there's actually contacts on the bottom so your batteries can make contact in there. And this is going to reduce the jiggling because it's like a floppy sleeve for your batteries. It's definitely a cool little thing. So instead of being plastic with contacts, it's actually silicone. USB. I don't recommend to charge this through USB ever, and I'm not going to get into why. Warranty card. Now, this is something I actually want to address. Their warranty with me was good. I mean, they did take care of me. It took them about, I don't know, three weeks. Whenever I put that video up, the day after that till now. It, it just took a while. So their warranty is there. It actually is, it means something. The manual is multilingual. It's not that big of a manual, but if you've worked any of the later iJoy products, you've worked this one. That's a fun little warning. Do they realize that this means poison? Not really sure who makes these batteries. I know iJoy, iJoy is not in the business of making batteries, but they do put their wraps on the battery. Now, now I could be wrong. That could be a battery that they made, or it could be a rewrap. If it is a rewrap, it's probably a rewrap of a Sanyo. That's, that's my guess. I don't want to say that it's a rewrap or not, but those are the two batteries. This is the carbon fiber look. It's a sticker. It's, I, I, I wish in all of my heart of hearts that this was real carbon fiber. However, the price of this would go right through the roof. Yeah. yeah, I thought so. That is a 30 millimeter tank on the top and you still have room. So you can accommodate a lot of different drippers with this. Your door on the bottom is a typical Fuchai style door or cuboid, depending on how you look at it. Battery venting is right here, buttons for up and down and your USB. It actually feels really good in the hand. I mean, to me, it reminds me of this guy right here. Yeah, they're two different sizes, but it just, I guess the weight of it and the way it feels, they're, they're very similar in weight. And this is the Duo 3, did a review for this. Here is a size comparison of the batteries. This is a 2700, this is a 26650. This is an 18650. Now, when you look at these side by side, they almost look identical. The height is very close. I mean, maybe three millimeters. The diameter, however, is a different story. This is a lot fatter than what this one is. I could see why people would want this battery over something that uses dual 18650 just to give you that much more power. But again, it's very difficult to find these batteries. I will post the link down below where to get these batteries. There's your negative and your positive. Now that the batteries are in, I wouldn't say it's the most secure, but it's it's not the most secure that I've seen a clip. It secures it in. As you can see, the way that it scrolls through the watts is very quick. You know, it goes by ones, then fives, then goes straight to tens. So you can go all the way up to the top without having to sit down and watch it go by a tenth of a watt every time you press that button. So let me show you some of the menu functions that you have on this. There's not a whole lot going on with this mod. There really isn't. You hit the fire button, you're going to be presented with this lovely screen that has a lot of information on it. Resistance, the amps that you're outputting, the puff count, and then right there it says mode. Now that W stands for wattage, but to change that into temp, one, two, three, it's going to bring up this lovely block menu. This is temperature control, coefficiency rating. Set is actually only for the screen. There's no way to change it. You have to use one of the presets of 10 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute or a minute and a half. Oh, Jesus Christ. Power mode, temperature control, which is gonna have nickel, titanium, stainless steel, M1, M2, and then you click exit to bring you back to the main menu. Your power wattage, your TCR, set and reset puffs. That is all you get. Now, when you select wattage, you get presented with this lovely little finger that's showing you which one to go to. Not an arrow, it's an actual pointer finger. There's no way to change this from the main screen. You actually have to go into the menu 
to change that. Back on top with the Captain PD270 by iJoy. As you can tell by looking at this in the bottom corner, you will see the carbon fiber is coming up right there. See that? This is the problem with stickers. It's not so much iJoy, it's just why use the carbon fiber wrap style on a brand new mod? If you want to do that, include that in the option and just make it either recessed. The IPv8 did this too with this whole leather feel and Lost Vape did it. Lost Vape though, when they did it, they did it with some kind of strategy. It looked good and it was very hard to get it off. This is very easy to get off and this mod very, very, listen, extremely simple i don't know what captain sailed this boat i don't know if he was either drunk or just not thinking through things the fact that they capitalized on the 2700 battery is a great idea i think it's fantastic and giving an option of people using the 18650 adapter so to speak is a nice feature but the mod itself has no settings all you have is power mode temp mode tcr set the time screen same thing with the RDTA mini box. Now, normally I wouldn't deduct points off of that because people like basic. They like things that are easy to use. It's just that I don't know if this is worth the price that they're asking. It weighs as much as a dual 18650 does and you, you can still use LGs with it. How would I rate this on a zero to 10? If I tell you the number of this, it's it's gonna kind of shock you. I would give it a four. I can't give it anything higher. Let me explain why I'm gonna give it a four. Now, normally I don't need to explain as to why I'm giving something a rating that I'm giving it, but I figure why not for this? It works, one point. The battery size, two points. The connection on the top, it accommodates bigger drippers, three points. And then number four is the comfortability in your hand. That's the only pluses I have for this whole mod. Yeah, it's easy to use and just because it's basic doesn't mean I give it a bad rating because this right here is as basic as hell, the Duo 3, and I gave this a good rating. I don't feel like it's anything miraculous. It's nothing special. It's just another box with bigger batteries. So a four, maybe, maybe a five. Would I recommend you to go out and go buy it? Nope. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the Cuboid 150s is what this reminds me of. The size, the shape, battery door. The battery door is a huge negative for me because this battery door with a little bit of a nudge pops right off. And just a little bit. I wish it was a little bit more secure when you're snapping in it, but that's not the case. The button is big. It, there's just nothing really special about this mod. And I know iJoy is not going to like this review because they just want me to promote shit, but you know how I am. Look, I was sent this device for free and I'm still giving it a four. I don't care. I mean, it, it is what it is. That's what I rate this. A four. The way that this hits isn't instantaneous. The ramp up is subpar. When you put it on hard, it ramps up real nice, but on normal, forget it. I mean, this is normal, 65.5 watts. There you go. This is normal. So you see how long that took? With the blowout. Now, if I don't do a blowout, yeah, it just, there's a, there's a, there's a bit of a delay on the ramp up time. Look, it's a decent device. That's it. I've kept it real. Have you? Check this out.